fellow marketers, Professor Walters here, and today I want to talk about is how do we find people to actually buy our products? Because it's not always easy finding these prospects, because you might find there's a lot of suspects out there, but there's not a lot of prospects. And when I say the word prospect, what I'm talking about is people that can make the decision to buy, and they're the ones who have the uh, kind of resources to actually pay for that purchase. So they can actually put that money down. And the thing is, when you say a suspect, that's someone that may be a prospect. They, they might already be a prospect, but you're not really sure. So we need to get more information to make sure they actually are a real prospect. And the thing is, is we need to spend time with these suspects in order to figure out that they are a prospect. And if they are prospects, we do need to invest our time and energy in developing those prospects. So they do want to buy from us. They do want to shop from us. They do want to be, you know, doing business with us. And the thing is, is when you're looking at prospects, you want to like, or when you're prospecting, you might want to ask yourself, well, well, when am I prospecting? When am I trying to sell? Well, you're always trying to sell. If you have a product that you believe in, when you know someone actually could use your product, they could benefit from your product, you should be prospecting. I know for me, I've talked to people randomly in the supermarket because they've overheard their conversation saying, hey, you know what? I could help you out. These kind of things you want to think about because you're always going to be prospecting. It is a nonstop kind of thing. That's why whenever you wear your company logo out, realize that you're representing and selling and prospecting at that time when that logo is on you. People are thinking, oh, do I want to do business with that person or that company or not? So you have to think about these things. And the thing is, if you're trying to think of how, like, how am I going to get people to believe me? How am I going to prospect with these people? Well, it helps to actually show like, real care in them. Like, hey, we really want to help you out. I think our products or our services could really help you. And you show that true interest in improving their business situation or their current situation. That goes a long way to really showing them that, hey, you know what? We could work with you. And when you're thinking of the actual people, now here's one of the things you've all probably seen. You know, like when you're on Facebook or you're on Instagram and stuff like that, you have your friends with their Rodan and Fields or their multi-level marketing programs. They're trying to sell stuff to you. Look, people do that because you know what? Your friends and family, those are people that you might actually sell to because you know them and they know you and you can use that level of trust. But also, you know your friends that could use a little makeup here and there. Maybe your friends that could wear some, use some hair plugs or whatever, you know? You do know that, so it's easier for you to talk to them about that thing. But the thing is, is eventually you kind of extinguish your whole friends and family. You can only sell so much stuff to them. And so we actually have to go out and find new prospects out there. And the thing is, is if you believe in your products, it's not hard to go out and talk about things. It's not hard to talk and try to sell things. I know I've told my students many times, look, if you're not sure about a company to work for and you want to go into sales, go to a company that sells stuff that you already use, that you believe in, because it's a lot easier for you to talk about things that you love and you like with people than things you don't, okay? It's kind of like where you can tell when someone is really into something or if they're not, right? So that's the thing that can actually help you. And so when you realize you need to find new customers, there's different ways you can go about finding them. Yes, you can go and you search your, your past customers. And if you're new into sales, you might look into the history reports or the old reports of old sales reports. Who do we sell to before? So you can find these old customers, these old clients. And yes, you can look online and do your normal research that you would do to find potential buyers and potential prospects. You can go out and do that. But the thing is, if you already have a base of clients, your base of clients can actually help you find new prospects. Okay. And the thing is, if you have a customer that is super, super happy with your product and super loves working with you, why not ask them, hey, would you be interested in introducing me to your friends that might buy our products? It's kind of like, um, do you ever have this? You have a friend you really, really like and you have another friend you really, really like. And you're like, man, I wish these two could get together because they would be so fun together. And one asks for the other person's number. You're like, oh, I tell you what, I won't just give you the number. I'll actually introduce you to them. This kind of relationship kind of thing, if you have a client like that, is fantastic. That's going to give you a better shot of getting a true prospect to be more kind of excited about your product because someone that they know is saying that, look, trust this guy. This guy, this lady here, she's selling good stuff. He's selling good stuff and it might work for you. And so you can do that. You can ask that client, look, if you really, really enjoy our products, could you maybe introduce us, hook us up together? Now, the thing is, though, some clients are like, you know what? I don't really want to get involved here. And so what you could do is just say, hey, client, maybe you could 
Well, hopefully they have a name, not just hey client. But you could say it's like, hey, maybe you could give me, you know, some potential prospects name and contact information and I'll take it from there. Now you can decide is you can ask them, could I use your name or stuff like that? Or you can be like, look, I'll contact them on my own so you can do your own research. And so when you reach out to them, you can say, hey, look, I think we might be able to help you out. You can do that, okay? But the thing is, is whenever you're asking for referrals, okay, which is what you're doing right now, you're asking for referrals for these possible prospects, is you wanna make sure, you're like, don't ask them for like 50 at a time. Give me everybody that you know that could use our product. No, that, that's gonna overwhelm people. I mean, think about it. If someone says, what are your 10 favorite movies ever? You're like, uh, uh, you like blank, right? And so with this, what you wanna do is you wanna say, hey, look, you, let, let's think of some, who, who's somebody you think could use our product? Oh, Bob, okay, you think Bob could, who who else? Oh, Sandy, okay, who else? Oh, Sahil, yeah, Sahil could do it. Oh, Sandra, okay, Sandra could use that too. Who else, who else? Oh, Chow Wei, okay, perfect. And what you do is you kind of collect name by name by name and you get a list of people. Because what happens is if you ask people for too much stuff at one time, your mind goes blank. You know, it's kind of like, what all do I have to do today? Oh, there's so much, I don't know where to begin. If you have one, you go from one to one to one, it makes it so much easier, okay? So that's what you wanna do. Get the names first and once you feel like you've got enough names, and then you go back and ask the information. Okay, what company do they work for? How would our products work for them? Do you have their contact information? I go, would you like to introduce us? These kind of things you can think about. And sometimes though, even if you are only going one by one, sometimes your clients get a little like, you know, stage fright. You know, it's like, uh, I can't think of anybody right now. Like, who's your best friend ever? Uh, uh, I, uh, you know, it's like, what you might want to do is jog your memory. Maybe you're going to go, hey, who's your best friend in grade school? Who's your best friend in high school? Who's your best friend in college? Who do you, who's your best buddy at the gym? Right? And so you're helping jog their memory, helping them kind of think about all these different people that might be out there to help kind of ring things up. And most of the time you're doing research beforehand. So you have an idea of some of these, who some of these people are. So you might bring in one of those people. Hey, what about, what about Sahil in sales? Do you think that might be someone I should talk to? Oh yeah, Sahil would be great. And so you kind of do those things, right? And the thing is, is when you get this list of people, probably the most important step you have next is to ask them, who should I call first? Who should I call second? Who should I call third? Because they're gonna have a whole list and, and they'll after they get their list, they'll start to think about who really could do best with this? And you're gonna ask them, hey, who should I go for first? Because that's the one that you think, wait, if that's the one that my, my current customer says, my current client says, they need the most help, then that's when you need to go to first. Okay, you go to that one and then you have your list. And the thing is, is what you wanna do is once you get this list of people, remember, once someone gives you a referral, like I'm like, oh yeah, you should call my friend Bob, well, don't you think I'm gonna tell my buddy Bob that you're gonna call, right? And so what you need to do is right when you get those names, make those calls, send those emails out, make that contact, because you don't wanna miss out. You don't wanna be like, call two weeks later, because think about it. If you go out to a bar and you meet somebody and they give you a phone number and like, hey, I'll give you a call tomorrow, and they call you two weeks later, are you even answering that call? You're like, wait, you were supposed to call two weeks ago. What's going on here? You wanna make sure you kind of strike when the iron's hot. So make sure you call right away, yeah, get that contact going right away and go with enthusiasm, okay? And the people are letting you use their name, say, hey, you know what? Frank from the county, he told me to give you a call. Oh yeah, Frank, what's he up to? You might have some kind of connection there, okay? So I hope this helps you get some idea of some ways you could actually find new prospects or find referrals out there. No, it's not always easy. And a lot of times it really is just, you know, hitting on the computer and trying to find new people out there and, and going almost your door to door kind of thing to find them. But it's one of those things you gotta do. And if you do have those clients to ask referrals, do ask them. So I hope this helps you know a bit more about how to find prospects and suspects and who people you might sell to, because we'd all have to go out there and find new people to buy our products or services. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.